Welcome to the September vlog, part one. It is the first fortnightly vlog of September, which also marks the new financial year. Friday the 2nd of September today, um, so it's actually the second day for us. Um, I was actually in and out of the office yesterday because I had some personal bits I needed to sort. Um, and also had to catch up on some other bits of work throughout the day. So it was one of those days where I was catching up and chopping and changing with work. Um, but I thought it was a perfect time to talk about last financial year um, because for us it was, well, where do I start? It was doubling revenue year. It was launching three new strands of our business. It was in growing the team. Um, we actually doubled in size in terms of the, the members of staff are not going to uni. Um, and I do get questions from people quite a lot about how we did it. So I thought what I'd do is uh, a little segment to share more about that financial year and, and what we did um, to grow the not going to uni business. So hopefully Tyler will do like, maybe pop some of the bits and pieces up on the side. Um, and dot them through. Tyler, that's me telling you, that's what we should do. Where do I start? Where do I start? When I took over as commercial director, I looked at the market and I said, right, there is an abundance of job boards on this market. We need to do something that, that stand out. We need to do something that's different. Um, and that's where this vision for becoming a recruitment marketing agency in this space came along. Um, and really specializing in school either, youth attraction for the apprenticeship, first year job, gap year, etc. space. We didn't go and hire straight away. We didn't go and bring bodies in and put them, put bums on seats straight away. We looked at freelancers initially to grow the team. So freelancers in marketing, freelancers for the ambassador scheme, freelancers for NGT Ukraine. So we could test the water. It meant that we could manage workload, see did it make sense to have this person full-time? Eventually, a lot of those people did come full-time because it made sense and, and extras on top, but it was about managing that at first and making sure we didn't walk before we could run. Um, we moved nimble. We moved very fast as well, so when we needed to pivot something, when we needed to change something, we did. We've hired really well. Oh, everyone we've hired fits the strategy, fits the culture, fits the growth. They, they run through big walls for not going to uni and I'm forever grateful for them. And the final key pillar has been building our culture. The culture of this business, people that want to be here, people that believe in the mission, people that care about youth, people that care about supporting young people, etc. We wanted to really build a really strong culture here. That's really elevator pitch, shorter style of how we've done some growth. But I wanted to share some bits and pieces because you know, doubling our revenue, getting to a number that we haven't reached in years and years and years was no, by no means easy. Uh, there was a lot of late nights, a lot of early mornings, a lot of sleepless points where you're thinking about different things, a lot of stress, you know, blood, sweat, tears, all that good stuff, but it's all been fun. That's the other thing. And if you don't love what you're doing, what's the fucking point in doing it? On with a new financial year, on with this vlog. Let's fucking go. Alexa, what's the date today? I am currently covered in paint because I am painting the lounge. The NGTU Create team are currently with Laura and the ambassadors doing a, uh, a shoot, getting our Christmas content and other stuff. Tyler, insert some shit that you've done with the ambassadors. 12 days of Christmas, scene one, take one. One thing that you can do over the Christmas break is build your CV. Oh, Star's here too. So hi, Star. Catch you guys in a bit. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever, wherever you are, wherever you're watching this vlog at the moment. It is Wednesday, it's Wednesday the 7th of September. Thought I'd jump on and give you a little update on the last few days. Um, what's been going on, what's been happening. Um, yesterday was a fairly busy day, had quite a bit to do. Also was painting the dining room downstairs and at the end of the day as well. Um, so that's all done, so that's another room ticked off from me in Imogen. Today I had some bits to sort and then went to visit my brother who's sadly been in the hospital the last few weeks, but he's on the mend, which is a positive. Um, so it was nice to see him, spend some time with him. Friday I'm actually on annual leave. Imogen and I have decided to do a bit of an impromptu trip up to Birmingham. Go and do some shopping, stay in a hotel Friday night, dinner out, world's biggest Primark, etc. So that's gonna be nice, nice to spend time with me and Imogen. Um, 
next. We've not done that. We've not really done anything like that since we obviously bought the house and moved in. So, so that'll be really nice. So, really looking forward to that. So, yeah, little update on the week. Hope everyone's watching. It's having a good, good week. Yeah, just remember, keep smiling. I think that's because I haven't. It's probably been about a week since I spoke to the camera. I've done a bit of B-roll here and there, but I've not actually sat down and spoke to the camera even though I've been meaning to. It's just been a bit full on. On Monday, I went up to Milton Keynes with Ryan. We did a shoot for VW, which is really cool. You see some footage from that. Here is a picture of me eating a hash brown in the morning. Ta-da! And today I've been in the office with Laura. Um, we were doing stuff for my TED talk, so we were getting the deck ready and my actual talk ready. And um, the team, some of the team were in there. So Narice was in there, Parisha, Emily. So it was nice to get around with them, speak to them. We went through a load of tasks and so on. The other thing I wanted to talk about was an elephant in the room that's been going on in my life over the last few weeks. And some of you would have seen this if you follow me on Instagram. Um, my brother Danny has actually been in hospital for the last. Um, God, nearly a month now. He had um, developed compartment syndrome in his leg, um, which then led to some other things. He was on liver dialysis, etc. There was times where, quite honestly, we didn't know what was gonna happen. Was he gonna lose his leg? Was he gonna lose his life? Um, that's been really testing. Um, it's pulled my emotions through pillar to post, his emotions through pillar to post, my mum's, my brother's. It's um, certainly brought, brought things close, uh, brought us closer. Um, as a team, as a unit. We've showed that we'd do anything for one another. Thankfully, Danny is a trooper. He is troopering on. I'll insert a screenshot of his Instagram here. Please do go follow him because he is sharing his journey. You never know what's around the corner. You never know what could happen. Um, and, and, you know, value those around you and, and value, value life, value your health, value your fitness, value all those things because, you know, Things can change quite drastically for people, and, and I think Danny Danny has shown that you know tough times don't last, tough people do. If Danny does watch this. Just want you to know, mate. So proud of you. Love you to bits, and um, you are someone I've looked up to all my life. Yeah, this look, this vlog. I wanna I wanna be real with you. This is gonna be a much longer vlog than usual as well. I mean, this whole segment I filmed about five minutes, but I wanna share what's going on, and I wanna I wanna be real with you guys. I wanna share what's going on in my life. The other big thing we've obviously had going on. Um, the uh, Her Majesty the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, sadly passed away last week. So there's been, um, we've actually had some, some um, what's the word? Effects from that. All of our government clients have been in a blackout. So, so we have had to um, take down our F activity, etc. So we've been managing that. Um, and all of the team will be off on Monday as well, um, honoring the bank holiday day for the funeral. Um, so yeah, so that's when the vlog will actually get rounded up around then. So. I'll bring you along for the next few days and catch up with you guys in a bit. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, oh, it doesn't matter, there's enough light to... God, this is terrible, you're joking. Oh. There we go. Um, so we went to Tim Hortons, thought we'd share. Oh, I'm going to try a double chocolate donut. <laughs> now we're going to try Timbits, which are basically tiny balls of goodness. Here is a ball of goodness. Here it is. Oh, fuck. A testicle donut. What's wrong with your testicles? It's not bad, it's not bad. It's not so herby. Tim oh. Hortons is overrated, I'm sorry. Tyler. Two out of ten. Insert chocolate milk treat here. Seven out of ten. Six. Six and a half. Your yum yum like donut? Eight. Eight. My chocolate donut, six and a half. Tim bits. I'd give them a solid two out of ten. Peace out. Okay, so we have been instructed to do the outtake for the vlog. Um, there isn't much Mo's Corner this episode, just because life's been kind of crazy. Um, so Star is joining me to basically say, watch, follow, like, subscribe, do all that jazz, and hopefully you will see some more of us. <laughs> in the next one and oh, i need to put her down now because she's so happy but thank you for watching so bye bye